don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a I don't give a I don't give a fuck. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl, Solitonia, and you already know what the fuck going on. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys just a few of my biggest turnoffs. The shit that niggas do that just make me stray the hell away now there shouldn't be too many of these you know i'm not i'm not a very picky person or nothing like that you feel me so i'm actually lying i came up with 50 while i was drinking my coffee so without further ado let's just go on ahead and get into the shit please don't turn me on inconsistency inconsistent ass niggas being inconsistent is one of the most disrespectful things you could ever do to me in my opinion because how the f is you gonna come up in my life make me start liking you and then you just leave like what type of bullshit is that so if you gonna come into my life and try to talk to me motherfucker don't come into my life and talk to me for two weeks and then make me like your ass and then leave me high and dry and then i gotta make a youtube video about your ass just leave me the hell alone in the first goddamn place. Dirty ass fingernails. Especially when I see niggas with dirty ass fingernails and they just eating their food. Like they ain't got all that shit in their nails and you licking your fingers and shit. Nigga, what the hell is wrong with you? Did your mama not teach you no home goddamn training? If that ain't the nastiest shit I ever seen in my goddamn life. You use your hands for everything. So I know you seeing all of that shit that done piled up in your goddamn nails. Another thing about niggas that I cannot stand is the fact that niggas feel like that they don't need to wash their hands once they use the bathroom. Ugh. So your ass done walked into the bathroom, which is probably one of the most germiest places in your house. You sat on that toilet and you wiped your ass and you felt the need not to wash your goddamn hands, bitch. You gotta go. Even if you didn't take a shit and you just took a piss still, I don't care, my nigga, wash your goddamn hands. You gotta go. If and when I ever see a nigga with some colored plaque on his teeth cause he just got done drinking some Kool-Aid, you nasty bitch you. Niggas who have hella hair but don't take care of it, what the hell is the point of walking around with all that hair on your head if you ain't gonna do shit with it? You got baby birds mistaking your goddamn head for they nest. I know this one might sound really stupid to y'all, but if he shop at Hollister on a regular, I can't fuck with that nigga, I'm sorry. My ex used to be a Hollister nigga and now the scent and the smell and the sight of that store just make my goddamn head hurt. If your teeth look like they pointing in 11 different directions, matter of fact, if you don't take care of your teeth, period, Teeth is a really big, big thing for me. I know that this might sound really weird, but the person's mouth is the first thing I look at when I see them, especially if they a nigga. I'm like, I'm all up in your lips and shit because I wanna see if you got a nice grill or whatever. I wanna see if you take care of your teeth. Cause if you don't take care of your teeth, then nigga, what the hell is you really taking care of? A lot of niggas don't know that flossing is just as important as brushing. I used to be friends with a bitch whose breath smelled like booty. Cause she never flossed her goddamn teeth. I hope she learned from that shit now because damn. If you bite your fingernails for sport and now you look like E.T. in the fingers, ugh, bitch. Anyone whose hands look like that, do not come near me, bitch. Don't touch me, bitch. Someone actually told me the other day that I look like I have E.T. fingers and, um, he could kiss my ass. When niggas walk out the house with pieces of lint in they nappy ass hair or in they nappy ass beard, nigga, did you not look in the mirror when you woke up this goddamn morning? Take that shit out your beard. I'm sorry, y'all, that shit pissed me the fuck off. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Your hair over there looking like an old beanie and you want me to be okay with that shit. Hell no, nah, cuz, you gotta go. When niggas squint their eyes to try to look cute, like, bitch, what is this, America's Next Top Model? You trying to smile or some shit? Like, get the fuck up out of here with that bullshit. When niggas try too hard, like when niggas just be doing too fucking much, like, I see right through that shit. I know when you're doing the most to just try to get my attention or to try to get me to like you. Like, my nigga, you just gotta... First of all, you, you gotta chill. Second of all, you gotta do just enough. 
but not too much because females are weird as fuck. If you do too much and if you show us too much attention, we not gonna like your ass no more. <laughs> That's just how it works. You, you, gotta, you gotta put in just enough work to let us know that you fuck with us, but you can't be going overboard and shit, especially like if I'm not, you know, we not official or nothing and you just like expect this shit out of me. Just, they just kind of take shit too far. You feel me? Like you start texting somebody and then like all of a sudden like they think y'all talk and I'm like nigga like you need to calm down because like <laughs> I don't even like you like that <laughs> cause trust me if I liked you you would know but um a lot of niggas they just, they just be taking shit too goddamn far I know that that might sound real contradicting because the very first thing I said was I hate inconsistency but for example you start texting a nigga right and y'all only been texting for like two days and now all of a sudden he think that y'all talking, right? So then this nigga really start to like you, right? So if you don't text him back, he get mad and he start, you know, double texting you. And he start feeling like you have to text him and that, that you're entitled to text him and all of this bullshit. And that ain't even your nigga. That's the type of nigga I'm talking about. Overly hairy people. Now, when I was younger, I used to hate hair, like chest hair. Whenever I seen it on niggas on TV, I'm like, oh, that shit look nasty. But actually, the older that I'm getting, you know, it's, it's actually kind of sexy or whatever. But not too much. Like, you can't be out here, you know, Chewbacca and up in these streets. You feel me? You know, shape that shit up a little bit and do something. You can have a little bit of, you know, taco meat. But you can't have a whole burrito, bitch. Niggas with dirty cars. Me, personally, I feel like how clean a nigga's car is and how well he takes care of his car says a lot about him as a person. I don't know why I feel that way, but I feel that way about anybody. Like, how someone, you know, keeps their household, if their kitchen is dirty, if their bathrooms are dirty, if their rooms are messy. Not even really the rooms, but I always heard, like my nan always told me that if someone's kitchen is messy and if their bathroom is disgusting, you probably don't need to be fucking with that person because that motherfucking nasty. So that's how I look at cars with niggas. If your car or your whip is nasty, dirty, all fucked up, a bunch of junk in it, I'm going right the fuck back inside. You got me fucked up. Anyone mm. who is in any way, shape, or form, control. Mm. You see how mad I just got saying that shit? Because I didn't deal with a controlling ass deal. That's not a word. I didn't mm. dealt with a controlling ass nigga before, and that was the. Mm. When I tell you that shit still piss me the fuck off when mm. I think about it, <laughs> story time coming soon. I just gotta calm the fuck down. Mm. Actually. I might need that energy for when I do record that story time. So comment down below if you want to see that video. When people double text me after I don't text them back. Motherfucker, I ain't text you back for a reason. I got my red receipts on for a reason. So if, if you see that I done read your text and I ain't text you back, leave me alone. Obviously I'm doing something or obviously I'm busy nigga. Like give me a minute to goddamn do my shit. Like, damn, get off my dick. And then when you don't text that person back, but you tweet something or you snap something and then they text you talking about some, oh, so you can snap, but you can't text me back? Nigga, yes. God damn it. That's the niggas I was talking about in the goddamn when I said, um, the fuck did I say? When I said that niggas be trying too hard. Like, if I'm not your bitch and if you not my nigga, I do not have to text Yo ass back. Say it again. I do not have to text yo ass back. One more time. I do not have to text yo ass back. Get that shit in your head and put it in your little mental computer and save that shit. For the next time you want to question me about not texting your ass back and you ain't even my nigga. Dirty socks. Like, nigga, go put some clean socks. Why, like, why, why the fuck? Why the fuck are you putting dirty socks on your feet? Or why are you putting dirty clothes on your body? I've seen niggas do that shit before. I think it was just because I was watching Shameless the other day. And I seen this nigga just picking up shit off the floor and smelling the shit to see if it smelled decent enough and he put that shit on. And I know niggas who do that shit. Uh, I done mentioned this shit before and I know people gonna think I'm fucking crazy for keep saying this shit. But when a nigga's socks don't fit his feet right. I don't know why that shit make me so mad. It make me cringe inside like nigga. Pull your sock up and roll that shit so it won't be 
looking all loose in the neck and shit. Like, oh, uh, that shit looks so nasty to me. I think it's because it kind of reminds me of the Grinch when he took his socks off and they started running away from him. That's what that shit remind me of, and that shit is just so ugly. When niggas feel the need to flaunt their money on social media, knowing they asses is broke as fuck in real life. Nigga, I chill with you in person before, while you flaunting all this money on social media, but you in my face asking me for money. <gasps> fuck type of shit is that? Lazy ass, broke ass, unambitious ass niggas who ain't got shit going for themselves, so all they try to do is mooch off of anyone and everyone they can. Even a bitch. You a whole nigga. Niggas are supposed to provide. Men are supposed to provide and you over here looking for a bitch that you can come up off of? What type of pussy ass shit is that? The fuck type of backward shit is you on? Despite the fact that I can take care of my damn self, if anything, nigga, you supposed to be taking care of me. She. When niggas try to act like the only thing that they want from me isn't sex, and I'm just sitting here like. <laughs> okay. There y'all go, insulting my intelligence again. Nigga, me, you, and your mama know that that's not the truth, okay? So let's just, let, let's just cut all the bullshit right now, okay? When I see a nigga with a clean ass fit with some dirty ass shoes on, if you smoke anything other than tree and do any type of drug other than Mary Jane, I'm sorry, but I cannot fuck with no nigga who could potentially be a crackhead. This crack shit that's got me, man. <laughs> oh my God, I really gotta chill with the shit that I be saying. <laughs> if my man voice is deeper than your regular voice, you gotta go, cuz. When any nigga who's not my nigga asks for a picture, like y'all don't know, that's what fucking social media is for. All the pictures I post on Instagram and Snapchat. Shit, I got some pictures on Twitter too, nigga. Like, use it to your advantage. Dumbass nigga. Shit, even if my nigga asks for pictures, I'ma be pissed off. Zaddy should know better. He get pictures on the regular. No questions asked. You feel me? People who can't hold a proper conversation to save they goddamn lives. Oh my gosh, I hate small talk. Like that whole what you doing every five minutes shit is so... Oh my damn. Like, nigga, just don't fucking text me. Don't call me, don't FaceTime me if you don't have nothing to talk about. Like if we can't sit there and have a conversation about anything, like I mean anything, like ketchup, trees, the birds, the houses outside, anything, aliens and shit, I don't care. All that house, the weather, and how you doing bullshit, like, miss me with all that shit. I got better things to do, like, eat some food. You already know what the fuck going on. Niggas that still sag their gay ass pants. Hood niggas. I used to love hood niggas too, but I am done with that shit. Anyone who finds themselves in the same position that they was in last year, two years ago, three years ago, like nigga, you gotta be evolving and shit. Like you gotta be elevating. You can't be out here like doing the same shit years and years and years and years. Like, come on, like, all right, so you good at this and you perfected this. So now what are you gonna do? Now what are you gonna work on? You can't just keep doing the same shit over and over again because you're not progressing. You just doing the same shit over and over again, which means you getting comfortable. And I don't like comfortable ass niggas. Niggas who stagnant in life and just okay with that shit. Like how could you ever be okay with being in the same place that you were a year ago? Like if you're not elevating, then what the fuck is you really doing? Nothing. I feel like... Whoever I'm fucking with, as well as myself, should always be looking for something new to invest their energy into. Not just doing the same shit over and over again and being okay with it. That shit, that shit is dead. If my mama don't like you, that's a turn off. And she, and if my nana don't like you, oh, you gotta go. That's gonna get you left on red, my nigga. Anyone who takes themselves too seriously. Like, I'm a goofy ass nigga. Like, you gotta be goofy if you gonna be with me. You can't be out here like, with your nose stuck up in the air just mad like being being serious all the time like crack a joke or some shit loosen the fuck up corny ass niggas who think they funny but they not if we can't roast each other on a regular basis that's a turn off 
a really big one, actually. And I ain't like none of these other bitches. I ain't gonna be in my feelings once you say something about me. I'ma fire right the fuck back. And we just gonna be, we just gonna be two roasting ass niggas, you feel me? I ain't gonna get mad if you roast the fuck out of my ass. To be honest, that shit might turn me on just a little bit. <laughs> niggas who eat messy, like niggas who just act like they just got out of prison. Like my stepbrother. <laughs> I know he gonna see this shit too. Oh my gosh, like he just be eating like he's never eaten before. Eating, that's not a word. He be eating like he's never eaten before. And it's just like, that shit make me so mad because it's like I can hear, I can just hear you not chew. All you doing is swallowing food. And that that's just unhealthy. Like, you really gotta stop that shit. Heavy ATL accents. I know that's kind of fucked up to say, but fuck it. Them shits give me a headache. When niggas ask me stupid ass questions, like, are you hungry? Knowing my fat ass is always goddamn hungry? A know-it-all ass nigga. A nigga who ain't gonna inform you on shit. He gonna belittle the fuck out of you just because you don't know some shit. Like you supposed to be goddamn Albert Einstein or some shit. I used to talk to a nigga like that and that's exactly why his ass was left on red. You can inform me. And you could teach me, but what you not gonna do is talk down to me like I'm dumb just because I don't know everything about politics and shit. I told y'all, politics make my titties itch. I don't like that shit. I don't want to sit here and talk about shit that I'm not interested in. And I really don't want to sit here and listen to a know-it-all ass nigga try to tell me about some shit that I don't even give a fuck about. So just shut your ass up. Cute ass, short ass niggas. Only cause that short man syndrome is really than a bitch. When niggas think they could get me just cause of the shit that they got. Um, excuse me nigga, but do you cook? Or do you buy? Hurry up and buy. Food to be exact. Cause shit, that's the key to my heart. Niggas who don't like sports, because how the fuck am I gonna be over here liking sports and you don't? There you go back on that backwards ass bullshit again. Niggas with no type of fashion sense. Just walking out the house just looking like goddamn anything. Like, nigga, can you put some pride in your presence please? Because I do, so we need to be looking like a unit. Okay, we need to be looking snatched like Jay-Z and Beyonce. No, that's... That's taking it too far. People who can't control their goddamn liquor. I should probably be the last one saying this cause I'm a lightweight, but that's why I don't drink. I just stick to my blood. Niggas who are quick to post everything they got going on on social media. Shit, even if it's me. Not everybody gotta know what the fuck you got going on all the goddamn time. That just gives niggas the right to be all up in your business and shit. And I don't like niggas all up in my business and shit. A nigga who say he can handle a bitch like me, but then when it come down to handling a bitch like me, he can't handle a bitch like me. I come with a lot, okay? And most of that shit that I come with is my mouth. That shit is lethal. So I need a nigga who's not gonna disrespect me, but you know, just, just put my little ass in check real quick, you feel me? You fucked up big time. You're incapable of running this shit. Sit your $5 ass down before I make change. Because. I need that. I need that. I mean, to be honest, niggas, period, at this point, like, they just a turn off all together, if I'm being completely honest. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I don't know how the fuck this video became 40 minutes long. That's gonna be a bitch to edit. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope that y'all enjoy. If you did enjoy, be sure to let me know by liking this video and going ahead and comment down below your top five biggest turnoffs. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All y'all can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Solutonia and my Snapchat is Tonia underscore 15. Until next time, y'all stay black. If you're not black, stay blessed. And I'll be seeing y'all in my next video. Bye. I don't want your man. Cause I got it like that, but it ain't even gotta be like that. <laughs> Yo man, he be calling me back. He say I'm fine and a matter of fact. <laughs> he asked how I do that, that fit my jeans over baby fat. Listen, I don't know the type of tricks he playing, but I should warn you, I don't want your man. I understand.